Hey there, how are you doing? Team Win Central here and we welcome you all to the hands-on demo and impressions video of the Windows 10 Mobile build uh, 15222. Uh, this is the build that Microsoft has now pushed to insiders in Fastring. So as the name suggests, uh, this build comes from feature to branch and uh, not from the RS pre-release branch. So expectedly it uh, does not bring uh, any new feature. But uh, it does bring some changes and improvements, fixes and improvements. And uh, two of the improvements are like a bit uh, significant or a bit good. They need a mention. So one of the change we will just uh, show you here. So Microsoft has now uh, made a bit of improvement in uh, basically the speech UX or the language so here if you i mean earlier if you had uh, uh, ever tried to you know uh, download a language it was like difficult to know what is the status but here now you can see that it mentions after you know uh, download of this uh, speech pack that it mentioned the restart required and if you go to status it would mention that it needs a restart so it has been made easy this is an improvement which was worth mentioning apart from that uh, microsoft tells us that they have improved the reliability of notifications uh, for those apps which are paired with a bluetooth device such as fitbit so that needs to be seen okay now coming to how this build behaves so i mean we have not uh, done hands-on demo of last uh, three four builds because we thought that there would hardly be any, you know, I mean, kind of because these builds are not coming from the uh, pre-release branch. So which is kind of uh, not bringing any new feature or changes, etc. But we just thought of now giving it a try and see how actually this works in our hands-on so that we have an idea about what Microsoft is doing here. So let's open different apps. We'll do the multitasking. We'll check how everything works like. You can open different maps. Let's send you the background. Let's open the Microsoft Edge. Okay. So here's the Microsoft Edge. Let's uh, open some websites your favorite website one of them So uh, now there are like three websites open here. We can quickly check how the tab management works. So till now it's working fine. <clears throat> now let's open some other websites. Maybe. Okay, so we try to open a tab, but it seems there is some kind of difficulty here. Okay, so uh, so it's quite noticeable that 
uh, Microsoft Edge uh, has some issue when you try to open a new tab using uh, the context uh, sensitive menu here. So we wanted to show it, demo it. And you can see that already there is some issue and you cannot now access any of the tabs. So maybe Microsoft like to, would like to address this issue because till now we opened, uh, you know, separate, like four websites and they were the tab management or uh, the page was working fine, tab management was working fine. But as soon as you try to, you know, just uh, use the uh, context sensitive menu uh, to open a new tab from any other opened website, it goes for a toss. And now you cannot do it however you try. So this is bad actually. Maybe Microsoft uh, takes into consideration, fixes it. Okay, but let's uh, send it to the background. We will check quickly how the multitasking works like. Now let's go to various things. The usual navigation part. And it looks good. The normally the navigation, etc. The behavior is quite fluid. If you open settings, let's send it to the background as well. <clears throat> we can open camera. Now we'll quickly check how the short to short time is like. We'll quickly send it to the background as well. So now let's see how the multitasking is like, where there are any crashes, etc. And what is not here. So Microsoft Edge, you can see has got some kind of issue. It has crashed already. Maps is there. Camera is there, store is there, and when we saw that settings which we sent to background is there, so only thing that has crashed is Microsoft Edge. So Edge has got some uh, major issues here uh, when you are working uh, and you try to open a tab using uh, the context sensitive menu or you open a new page from an already open website it, it it just goes for a toss it becomes kind of uh, like inaccessible it does not work and when you send i mean after that if you send it to background it crashes so microsoft may like to address the issues with microsoft edge now coming to uh, games how the games we have on this let's check quickly so it's a bit surfers Send it to the background. We'll quickly check any other game so that we can do a multitasking test quickly. So temple run. Will you send to the background? Now let's see how the game, uh, how the multitasking works like with two games open in the background. So uh, nothing crashed. We try to resume temple run. It may take time. I don't think it's optimized UWP yet. But yes, it has uh, resumed in a respectable time. And we will check how the subway surface behaves. It's quite good actually. So it's optimized Windows 10 mobile game. So
store opens quickly resumes quickly and the two games are open still okay camera opened resumed quickly no sorry sorry maps resumed quickly so as you can see uh, even with two games open the multitasking is okay working fine uh, only I mean bad spot or only only app that is not that should be have properly is Microsoft Edge a very important app the browser and it's not behaving uh, in a way which would be liked by the insider so Microsoft would like to fix that apart from that uh, as per our hands-on suggests the build 1522 is fine it can be lived with uh, provided you don't use a browser a lot otherwise you can face a lot of issue you can use some other third-party browser for the time being but that's it uh, so now we come to the end of this video hope you have liked it and stay tuned for more thanks for watching